Ladies and gentlemen, Pharaoh here with League Top 10, and today Riot decided they were going to do a Leona playtest. So I decided to go ahead and record it and give you guys a little bit of gameplay footage of the new character that is supposed to be coming out, I think, Tuesday? Um, now keep in mind, this is a recording of the Riot Games live stream, so there will be some black spots just because the live stream had a lot of problems today. Oh, it was it was un it was almost unwatchable, but it was still pretty good. So I'm gonna just post the video, and hopefully, you know, if you guys are interested in Leona, this will give you a good idea of her playstyle. In the past, where uh, so the numbers might have changed since, um, but she has about a, a thousand burst damage available to her uh, around vigilant. the play teen. If you just if you just land all the spells without the passive, um, if you, if you land them all on a single target, and of course, once you land her one, you're gonna land the rest of them. Your stun is gonna set up your ultimate. Um, your shield, your W super easy to land with. Um, so you have about a thousand damage burst available to you at the very, very end, the very last level. Um, First the light approaches. And uh, of course you have AP versions and whatnot, so you can play pretty heroically if you do go for the soul and you, and you really rank up everything. Um, I'm going for more of a, uh, a more supportive type build. So I'm not afraid of my jungle's, uh, my name's coming in from Ever bottom. So I'm make sure this ward spots that inlet. So there's the ward, right? So the ward spots dragon, it, it, it spots this invasion right here, mm -hmm. and it spots this invasion over here. So as long as I'm paying close attention, which of course is hard for me, so I'm trying my shield, I'm gonna land, uh, spell the Morgana, and there we go. I've landed that stun. Ex uh, exhaust going out. I left it's a little bit late, but Ash should pick up one up. There we go. Nice one. Disruption does come out, and that is pretty much a full combo. Um, just picking up that kill. Working out with Philo Stone. I have the mana. Oh, I whipped that one really dumbly. So you have the uh, skill to teleport. You have a shield that will shield you for a while and then do damage when it blows up. And what's the third normal skill that you have? The third is the blink. The sun always uh, so, Okay, so, so my, my Q is a is a is basically so imagine Poppy's Q where you know your next attack is empowered. Yeah. It does improve damage and it stuns. You can read the tooltip down uh, there. See. It's, it's a stun and a uh, and of course the, the cooldown skills a level. Um, so that's that's fall. twelve right now at rank one. That goes down to eight. Uh, the W is uh, imagine defensive ball curl where it gives you armor magic resist. That's all fine. Um, after three seconds, it, it blows up like sunlight. Sure. explodes, right? So it, it deals damage everything around approaches. me. Of course, um, it does apply sunlight. Um, but what it does uh, in addition to that is um, if it hits a target, so it actually only lasts three seconds unless it hits an enemy. And if it does hit an enemy, then it also adds another three seconds on top. So basically, um, you kind of get in there and you say, hey, you know, I've got uh, this shield. You know, I'm nice and durable. Um, if I'm staying in the fight, though, then it, it's actually six seconds long, uh, and, and it deals the AOE damage output. Um, not Stay quite AP Scion status, though. because she has, you know, more than just two spells, um, but some AOE damage coming out from that. Uh, the third is a, is that, that skill shot I've been using, where it, it you know, basically links me to the last champion hit. It's a little bit right there, but, uh, yeah, a lot of mini ways. I can't really go aggressively right now, so I'm going to back off, uh, in the meantime, and go for this auto connection. Uh, oh, I didn't need that. Oh, I oh so close. Yeah, because you yeah, the dark binding will I actually stop you from touching. She didn't take any damage, so she got out of range on that one. Okay, cool. Uh, I actually like I like, eat and then like didn't click. I like, completely failed on that one. So stay uh, at the vanguard. Sure. This is why you should smart cast. Not really. Oh. I, I like I like the indicator because then I can know exactly where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find that a lot of the pro gamers actually do not use smart cast as well. I don't know. I just right. find it a little. I use smart cast for things like quirky missiles where I like have really short cooldowns. I would really spam. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be clicking. Like, for something like this, right, I only get one chance at it, I'm going to go ahead and be exact. Okay. Um, for something like quirky missiles, like, I know I know, the, I know the skill shot by heart, just so many times, that, um, like, I know exactly where it's going to hit from where I click, um, so I'm not too worried about it on those cases. So I'm not really able to invade. The enemy lanes, the other lanes seem to be doing fine right now, Warwick, of course, jungling without smite, not from there. The dark finding lands on you there, it's going to be quite some damage. And was standing for me. Standing in the pool for the whole time as well, and taking at least one volley there. The yeah, that was, that was I, 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 the E was locked out while I'm dark binded because it's a blink ability. Yeah. I think that's why I didn't go off the first time. Um, oh, oh man. Find someone. That's just barely missing the circle there. Actually, yeah, you, even though you're dark binding, you, you teleported to Morgana. And there is the shield hitting her, she is hit with uh, sunlight, but there's not going to be enough damage off the bed there right now. Real quick. Okay. First light of uh, I'm going to turn the game sounds down real quick, they're a bit loud, yeah, that makes sense. Bam, that should be much better for you guys, enjoy. Alright, and uh, I will be a little bit closer to the microphone, so great. you can hear me better as well. Well. Alright, Udi are now doing lots of damage to mid turret. It looks like a mid had to leave lane, Annie being pushed out of lane by a laning Udi, that's interesting. 
That's going to be bad news for the mid turret. Might be going down. If, and there comes the enemy Leona with a red buff. Actually, Dark Finding landing. The flash in also is good. There's an exhaust on uh, Freak as well now. Even though he exhausted first, he flashes out of range. But maybe there's another E for the enemy. Leona, yet there is a flash in. And that should be a dead Freak right yeah. there. Leona killing Leona. And it's a 2 and one situation now against Ash. She has to use her flash as well. Leona takes a... Wow, t it takes a tower shot. There comes the enemy Ash Arrow and this. She just hit her. Ash yeah. She wouldn't get the kill if she hit her. Oh, she did. Okay. Nice. She got, she got the credit. So a little bit of a silly dive there. Um, There's Annie as well, who may be looking forward. to pick up something on, on the super low Morgana. There she's going in position. Morgana will probably not be able to leave the first. Actually, she does leave just the time Black Shields herself, and she is going to be fine. Yeah, she's going to stay safe just there. Mid lane is open for a short time. Uh, I'm going to move on over and take over some of this. Uh, Needly up top, getting a little bit low. Ash taking bot lane, so we're going to do alright so far. And, and he's going to go in the, the last stun, going to hit Ash in the face, and there's Ash, of course, coming in. Nice kill, so yeah. That one picks that one up pretty safely. Yeah, you Good do, you, you do want to kill Steel. It's better to get, uh, yeah, it's better to get a kill and an assist. Actually, I want to check on their golem and see what the status is. It's probably down, but... Um, I want to sort of catch it and award it on. Oh wow! Nice. It's up. You can do that it. off. Oh, I can't swallow that. Not not easily. Not without smite or even a build for it. I see. Okay. I'm gonna back off that for now. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we've got the one. Mid lane seems to be in trouble there. It looks like Udia and Leona pushing on Ani. Not quite sure why they're both there right now. Um, yeah. Top lane seems to be completely free. Udia is at half health. I'm not quite sure. If you can land the stun, you can probably uh, you can probably tie it up into a, any stun as well. And oh, the enemy Yona is a little bit brain AFK there. Actually, get the stun in on her, and there is a ah, oh, unfortunately, Annie stunning Udia. Maybe enough to kill him. He is trying to get away with the turtle shield. He has the flash as well. Gets away. There's the ultimate for the enemy Leona doing lots, lots of damage. Annie being super low right now. You have to get in the way. There's a shield from the enemy Leona, but probably not going to get in range. Your shield just at time. Wow, Ash Arrow just barely missing. Oh, I shouldn't and have stayed. That was, that I let myself get caught. Well, no, 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 no. Let me face it. Let me face it. And Freak sacrificing himself heroically for the Annie on his team. Very good play there from Leona. Yeah. It was silly to stay around like that. I, I don't know. I, was, I, I think my cooldowns were, were, were a little bit longer than I wanted them to be. And this Ash is a little bit far, so I didn't quite pick up what I wanted. It was a good ball. I thought Milkout does pick up that kill, so it's another Ash drop. Um, yeah, I'm dying more than I should. That was a little bit silly. I'm going to pick up a little bit of health. I'm going to go for an Aegis next. No, that's a very uh, support-oriented build right there on Leona. Yeah. Go, go for your pure tank. Um, pure tank support should be pretty decent. Let's see. Let's move into its bot lane. I'm going to try to find some more disruptive. And I think it's asking a question. It's the second thing that you said. No, that's old. Right, if that's old, all right. we, we, all we already did that. Right, um, all right, uh, there's an Ash Arrow coming in. Mid lane is barely missing the Leona. As we are getting a little bit distracted here from the peanut gallery and Nilly setting up in the bushes as well. They have spotted her though, so Warwick should be coming in on the Nilly uh, and now Annie now going into the river looking for the enemy Nilly. There is the Nidalee. Annie can come in from behind, has a stun ready, available right now, hits the tippers. There is the E and into the stun, but uh, Nidalee jumping out just in time. There's the enemy Leona doing so much damage there right now. Ignite going down on Freak as well. And yes, that's the shield picking up the kill on Freak. So it turns out we know actually knows how to play the game. Very nice pick up there from uh, Annie. We know are staying just a little bit long. Udia coming in, but one versus four is probably not the best idea he's ever had in his life. Flashing, but that flash is not going to give him enough distance, and he goes down as well. So, uh, arriving again, unfortunately, uh, taking a bit for the team. The enemy Leona actually apparently got solo in. Give her a lot of damage. He's going to be dying a lot for that Leona, so... Uh, a little bit harsh there, going to push back in towards bottom lane. Unfortunately, that turret's been left alone for so incredibly long, they're going to lose that. Um, yeah, yeah. I guess they should probably stop roaming towards mid and, and just leave the lane surviving. Um, but Ashley, we just gave them a 2v0 bottom, so that's going to be pretty harsh. Um, yep, that's a turret big up right there for the enemy team. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. That's, of course, uh, happy for them because the game hasn't started exactly super good for them with the uh, early kill against Morgana, the early kills actually against Morgana. Yep. Might be a good time to ward the dragon right now. Uh, there is no ward in the river now, in the south river now at all. Actually, no ward in the river anywhere. And you do have a ward in your inventory, and there is the yeah. ash. Well, when ash comes, take over the land, she can get the experience. Yes. And go ward. Uh, missing that last hit there. Very unfortunate. You're pressuring me to go ward, dude. Freaking chill. Yeah. 
Uh, so that's exactly what you want from a short caster telling the short caster player how to play. That's exactly yeah. how it should be. Yeah, that's how I do it. Yes. Alright, then there's the Ash arrow now. Can you land a E? That E comes in, there is a stun as well on Ash, and the shield should keep Leona safe. And wow, so close, and Milka knows exactly how much health was needed there on the Ash, flashes in, and gets the kill. Very good play from the Ash on our team here. Uh, Udyr in the river now coming down but but Warwick has spotted him is coming in from behind Udyr doesn't know that he's in trouble there is the stun going down on Udyr shield up as well the shield is going to frog in just a second the ultimate coming in right now doing good amounts of damage there is the ultimate from uh, Warwick as well and the tip is that is a kill on Feral Pony right there yeah, good uh, job with the team. Fall, falling back again should be safe right now. So tell me about the artwork for a second. There is a. It takes a moment before it does damage, doesn't it? So it is. It is a little bit like dark matter yes. uh, from Vagar, where it sort of it starts up and it um yeah it has a little bit of a drop time, uh, and then when that drop time is done, it hits and uh, so it has two areas. It has, a, it has an inner area that's kind of small, and then an outer area that's a bit larger. So if you're in the small area, you actually get stunned. Uh, if you're in the outer area, you get slowed like eighty percent. Uh, oh, okay, barely fine. missing that one. Nidalee coming in now. Warwick is still doing the race. He does not th feel like he should go and hurt this team. It's probably the right decision there. There goes the stun on Nidalee, actually, and she is super low right now. There's an ignite on her as well, and the E actually barely missing. Yeah, you get in range with an exhaust. Oh, that's the kill. That works as well. And uh, Flash shield bash equals kill. No problem there. That always works. Pretty good. Morgana coming in from behind. Is going to try to save the lane together with Ash. Ash probably gonna try to pull some volley spam out. And oh no, that was not the position to blue pill. Oh. Yeah, I, I keep oh. doing that too. I like recall in like really dumb places where people just catch me. Uh, kind of silly to do that. It's called baiting. But usually well, you stop. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I'm supposed to leave that in time and not die. I don't really need hard enough to go. I got the Mercury chest because I'm, I'm, they basically their entire team is stuns and slows. Yes. So um, I would if they were if they were all like you know Alistair knockups or, or things like that or like Ramus who wouldn't really be going for me ever. Um, I would go, I would say to go for cooldowns. Yeah. Um, do you know what I kind of want to do now? As soon as Leona is on live service, I want to go and, and try a full AP Leona. Okay. That's kind of something that I need to try now. That of looks very good. She has AP ratio she said, on almost all spells? All skills. All, all skills. skills. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's very good. So if you force me to your back, I'm going to go ahead and just take over bottom lane then, because that seems to be available. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, you have good AOE from your, uh, your E as well, right? Yeah, so, and, and your shield, yep, that's pretty good AOE right there. Yeah, if that all scales, that's going to be very, very good for farming as well. And your shield doesn't need to hit an enemy or an enemy champion for... And just even minions, I think, seem to... Oh, yeah. Well, Grinnick has to hear, so I'm going to turn the shield on. Yep. You're going to see it blow up in a second. Blowing up right now, and it's, and it's still, still on. on. Yeah. So, yeah, it needs to hit an enemy. Okay, cool. Nice. Yep. No, right, that looks pretty cool. Uh, Warwick now setting up for gank in top lane, but then Renoa is super safe on her Leona. It's gonna stay back in the turret. It's gonna be just fine. Um, Ash farming top, which is good for us as well. Milk cow needs to be farmed up. Two people in mid right now, not sure what they're doing. The turret is already down, and there's not a lot of farm available to them. So Morgana and Ash, it looks like, are rotating top, and there is a ping in front of Nasha already. I hope that Warwick and Ash saw this coming. Otherwise, they're going to be in trouble. And I am casting currently from the minimap, which is a very good exercise. You should try to look at the minimap all the time. And Warwick did not see it coming in time. It's going to be picked up super easily there. There's an Ash arrow trying to save him. Let's see if it's going to be enough. Nope, it's not going to be enough. And right to fall, falling to Nyandali there. Um, she's not going to sing him a song, or she's not going to be a flying cat. Or she's going to be a sort of a flying cat for a while there. Um, but yeah, that's the kill there. And they actually get the kill on Renoa. Milkow staying there with the help of Tarek. Uh, at the same time, Udyr actually pushing mid lane really, really unsafe. Annie barely surviving that in top lane. There's Nindali trying to pick up a kill on Annie now, but she is going to be safe behind the Tarek. And Udyr now will take the top as well. The only one not joining the team fight is AFK Farm Freak in bottom lane, who is doing a right good job play. there. Good job hitting all the last hits. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's probably not the worst thing in the world to have a tank that doesn't die immediately. Ouch. It's probably I see, I see what you did there. So, oh, um, no, I didn't even mean to do that there, but yeah, in retrospect, I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, uh, honestly, like, if I had run someone to teleport, and, and I probably should have, in, in retrospect as well, going, um, you know, TV flash, that was really bad last setting. Uh, TV flash or ignite, uh, or sorry, exhaust teleport or, or flash teleport, instead of exhaust flash, um, would have given me the ability to get in the team fight, but uh, I don't know, I was uh, entirely across the map, and, and when, you get, when people get caught that early, generally that fight ends. Um, the fight ended up dragging out a lot longer than I expected it to. So, um, 
I could have shown up and helped as in that fight. As it turns out, I didn't expect that, that was going to be the case. And she flashes out. She gets stunned under tower range. They have three going in, taking tower arc. We're taking a good amount of damage from the tower, but there are three from his team right now. They could possibly clear up a kill. No, no. Udyr and Ash Oh, and that is a dead end right there. Ash Arrow putting down on Annie. That was unfortunate. We did not exactly Leona see. Pretty hard. Yeah, Leona does tank pretty hard. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah, I managed to stick a bunch of tower shots, but yeah, that Leona got really, really durable uh, pretty quickly, so never mind there. Um, let me check on something real fast. Uh, I think we're okay. Uh, pretty sure it's not. Um, maybe so. Okay, so I guess I if, if your screen is black, uh, please refresh. Hit the refresh button. You. That's, that's what it's for. probably be okay. Barely getting out of range of the Morgana ultimate there and hitting your uh, ultimate perfectly, so that's nice. Udia taking a lot of damage to the face there. Nidalee is still there, still able to heal them. Wow, that spear would have killed Ash. And Freak recalling in a very good spot this time. He is going to be safe. Uh, yeah. Ash, uh, Milkow is playing a little, little aggressively, but I see uh, yeah, Tarek next to him should be healed up in no time, no problem. Okay. I'm going to group towards Metaphor to that enemy Leona is constantly staying above. He's like, Leona's going to stun me, don't care too much about that. I'm actually going to walk out of range to not pull tower aggro, mm -hmm. uh, as we're going to lose out all our minions and not going to be able to keep pushing here. So that's fine, just going to let those go. Um, looks like in top lane, going to have a pretty big aggressive creep wave. I'm just going to go ahead and just farm that out, get rid of that for the team. Uh, my resists, uh, I'm thinking about what their damage deals. Uh, it's almost entirely. I guess they have Oh, ash, they get caught in the here. forest right there, and that is. Yeah, you should probably come back into this fight. Um, Annie has a stun up, but uh, Warwick's super low, getting pounced on by two uh, animals there and gets killed in no time at all. Um, Morgana could be finding you here right now. She's going to try to land the dark finding, but you should be able to dodge that one. Yeah, very good dodge. Let's see if she gets in range for her E. She spell shields herself just in time. I'm not sure if Annie actually had the stun up. And there is the E. Very good, very nice job. They're waiting for the black shield to be over. Lots of damage on Morgana, and she gets pulverized once again. You actually picking up the th kill right here. Good yep. job there, waiting with the E until the uh, black shield yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, that was actually a complete use of mechanics. It's like, okay, I know I can outrun it. My Q lasts long enough, like, just on the buff, that I can wait out black shield, last five seconds of all ranks. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, and stun when black shield ends. And that got us a kill. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to credit myself that one. Well um, done, So that was actually, I think, actually a decent move. Uh, unlike my recalling and dying, uh, <laughs> like, eight times this game, that was actually the, the proper disruption. It's kind of uh, a common hey, what, a lot what did we learn today from Wet Dream? The only way to learn is the hard way. The only, the only way to learn is the hard way, so... I've learned a couple times the hard way to not recall <laughs> in really stupid places, and that's starting to work out for me. So I'm trying to think of the build. Um, I guess I'm more threatened by the magic damage. Um, ultimately, it's going to be you know Morgana putting out AOEs. Ash knows not to focus me, so I'm not going to have to worry about physical too much. So I really am, I think, just going to build uh, more MR heavy. I could go Abyssal to help the team out. It's going to help my damage a little bit as well. And um, your W actually gives you both MR and armor the same yeah. amount? Yeah, it gives, me, it gives me MR and armor, so I'm nice and durable you know, in all cases there. I'm not like... I'm not a Galio or a, or a, uh, a Ramus who's really trying to focus on one one resistance yeah. type. Um, yeah, that, that is usually uh, a type of champion that's very, very dependent on the enemy um, yeah. setup. And you can be super powerful as that champion, or you can just be completely useless because they're just building the wrong type of damage. Yep. So, wow, I'm actually feeling I'm last hitting pretty hard. Um, I missed like a bunch at 12 health. Like, reset. There we go, I'm gonna last hit those. And. Okay, so our team is nearby. We should actually take Dragon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ash is a little bit far. I don't have wars, but I have ult, so... Should be fine. Should be fine right now. Warwick should be coming and joining you as well, because that's going to be where most of the damage will come from. We don't know where the enemy team is. They could all be setting... Yep, right there. Annie actually taking the Dark Fighting to the face. Lots of damage there, but uh, Morgana has to pull out a little bit. There is the Ash Arrow as well. Very nice ultimate. Hitting almost the entire enemy team. Morgana's ultimate is going to proc, but Morgana is just dying there. There is the uh, Udyr now, though, picking up a kill. Possibly on our uh, Tarek, yeah, uh, Tarek healing himself, actually, gonna be fine. And Ash needs to run there, getting a lot of damage down on her, Warwick and Leona chasing her down. Leona's super low right now, is turning back into the fight though anyway, and that is gonna be a kill on the enemy Leona as well, and that was 5 for 0. Uh, just barely 5 for 0, actually managed to, to cycle tanking just enough. I, I took the front load of that burst really hard and actually managed to, to jump in the brush. I mean, Morgan not really one to chase me, had her cooldowns down, the only thing she with was her ultimate. Um, and, and ducked in and then came back in. Um, I did. I went for a flash stun onto Ash, but I think I might have whiffed it. Um, I couldn't quite tell. My Q was up. You know, I, I flash went out, and then she sort of flashed over the wall. Uh, kept chasing her down, though, of course, because I have that big armor stack over 100. So uh, Tarek has a teammate as well. Uh, you know, she tried to kite me. You saw her, you know, move and attack, move and attack. But as long as I stayed out of range, um, yeah. I think it was uh, Vita or Needly, I stayed okay. Um, and then that ended up doing all right for us. So 
Uh, I'm going to actually go back, so I have a lot of money, and I definitely need some new items. I kind of want to do Frozen Mal just for the durability, the general durability, but I think I mostly need magic resist, so mm -hmm. I'm actually going to go for a Banshee's Veil. Um, more often than not, because I think that's gonna, I mean, that, that's yeah. health, which I want for Catalyst and the Negatron Cloak. Um, it's just the general, like, I actually kind of want um, all those stats up. I've been running a little bit low on mana in fights. I mean, I haven't itemized mana in anything except Philo Stone, so uh, mana costs seem pretty good as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, those long drawdowns fights might wear on a little bit, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the Banshees in this case. Uh, this is a general item build as well, you know, get these sort of high, these big ticket, you know, MR items, whatever. Mm -hmm. I could have done a harder build early on, that would have gotten me a little bit more farm. Uh, could even just do Cage Pick. Um, but ultimately not too worried about it right now. Um, just the AP level give me a little bit of damage uh, on these maps. I'm not really getting AP for anything else, so I'm not adding a lot of bonus damage right now to my abilities, but I'm able to clear the E gets more damage, it gets more cooldown, things like that. But the W, of course, also deals damage. It gives me a resist, so if I'm not far into 5 max W, right, I'm getting a good, you know, decent amount of, you know, 70 armor magic, so that's pretty strong, right? That's, mm -hmm. That's pretty good, so um, that's good numbers. It might be a fight breaking on a mid anytime soon. You should probably go and join your team there. Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. Says yeah. Freak. We'll see if that happens. We know is still a very good player, as I have always maintained. Uh, could turn this around, but now we had half help right now, and there's not much I can do. Tarek is healing up, giving them extra attack damage to take down the Nexus and actually oh, the inhibitor's back. It kept oh it. yes, you get trolled by an inhibitor. And there's the enemy Leona going in trying to do some damage, but she can't quite do enough damage. There's a very good spear, but the spear lands on Freak who can always tank it very happily. Enemy Leona is gonna go down if Warwick turns around, he doesn't even need to. And there's the Nexus going down and GG Well played there, so well played. Yar. So we do have um, Nexus blows up. Bit of a rocky start certainly. It's not exactly the happiness, um, but uh, let's see. So, clicking on over to the post game screen. Yeah, I started out like 1 and 6, but ended up like mm -hmm. 4, 6, and 19, so I stopped dying. Uh, got a lot of assists, managed to rack up a bunch for our team. But it was really Milkal carrying this, wasn't it? But Milkal definitely carried, right? Getting the AD on that team super good. Um, yeah, we see uh, yeah, some, some, some good stuff overall. Uh, I see basically, you know, assist spans here, 4, 6, 19, 4, 6, 12. Yeah, um, def definitely more of the Sister Champion. Um, actually, she didn't go for the Trinity Force build. Um, just went for actually just a Fast Frozen Mallet, more for Disruption. Um, so uh, we believe we should have more Test Realm, or not Test Realm, sorry, uh, Tournament Realm games.